Hey everyone, so I know I'm a little bit late with story time today. I was actually writing my next original story that I'm going to perform for you on Friday and I just got carried away and totally lost track of the time. So sorry I'm late, but I do think the next original story is a good one. So I hope that you'll check it out on Friday. For today, I'm going to read Lemur Dreamer by Courtney Dickmas. The residents of 32 Pebbly Lane led most, mostly an extraordinary lives. All except one, that is. Lewis, who lived on the very top floor, had the unfortunate habit of sleepwalking. Every night, fast asleep, Lewis wandered out his front door, snoozed around the other apartments, and snuffled back to bed. It wasn't a problem at first. The neighbors were very understanding. But as time went on, Lewis went on wandering until one night he, he snoozed down a clothesline and snuffled right out onto Pebbly Lane. This was getting out of hand. Where's Lewis going? whispered his friends. What shall we do? There's just one thing for it, said Little Bird. We will have to walk with him. So as Lewis snored beyond Pebbly Lane, his friends tiptoed close behind. No one knew what he was dreaming of, but whatever it was, and wherever he went, uh-oh, this can't be good. His friends followed fearlessly until at last, Lewis ran out of places to sleepwalk. Wake up, Lewis, shouted his friends, but Lewis was still fast asleep. Could they reach him in time? Whew. Safely back on the cliff, lucky Lewis sat up, blinked twice and yawned. I had the most amazing dreams last night, he said. I dreamed I climbed the steepest slopes of Mount Everest and dazzled everyone on the tightrope at the circus. Then I was just about to go scuba diving on the Great, Reef, Great Barrier Reef when something stopped me. But where am I? And what are all of you doing here? Hold on a minute. I've been sleepwalking again. Lewis felt terrible. He'd caused his friends so much trouble, but they didn't mind. They loved Lewis, even with all his snoozing and snuffling. So to cheer him up, the next day his friends decided to get Lewis a special present. Something that would keep him safe, no matter where his dreams took him. Page. Because that's what friends are for. They got him a treadmill so he can walk all night. <laughs> the end.